just wanted to give an update. This is my older system. And uh, this is the uh, addition down here with what I have from the sunroom inside added on here, the four foot by eight foot. My three fish tanks, my sump tanks, biofilter on the far end. And uh, it's been working for a week. Seems like it's working good. I still got my aeration going over here. I don't have everything completely hooked up yet. I'm still putting in gravel and I've got three of the uh, seven flood and drain beds going. And uh, it's just taking a little longer than I thought. This is what I've come up with so far. If you take a one and a half inch pipe, put a T in it. You may have to cut a little bit off the T. You may have to put a little, cut a little bit off the uh, bulkhead off the bottom after you get it installed to make sure you got room. It looks like you got enough room to fit that flush against the bottom. Zip tie it down. Maybe uh, leave it going downhill just a little bit on the downhill side. Put you a air tube in the other end. Bring it up towards the top of the grow bed. That way you got air coming in. And then when you come out the other side, you come over the top. And, you know, I've done it a little bit different, but I'm trying to uh, come up with what will be the easiest and most cost-effective way. Just take your one-and-a-half-inch pipe over the top, put in a T, run it down to the bottom, run it down towards the end, come up maybe a foot short. Drill about, I used about a one inch diameter drill bit. Drill a hole about every two or three inches, and uh, it gives you some aeration. Uh natural aeration if you can see it I think you can see it sun's going down anyway just coming out the bottom of your grow bed if you got four grow beds you'll have four pipes just one from each grow bed bring it all the way to the other end of the side and have your air tube coming up I've done it a little bit different, but, and then just, you come out the other end, you go over the top of your raft bed, and I've got about, I think I've got about, I don't know, somewhere, hmm, I haven't measured it, but it's not that much drop, <clears throat> but it's enough, it's like it's probably around 10 inches or so from the bottom of the bed the top of the uh, raft bed and uh, then when you come out the other side use two two inch bulkheads come out with a two inch bulkhead come out with a 22.5 degree angle or if you got room you come out with a 45 or a 90 into a three inch T come out both ends of your both sides of your three inch T with uh, you know just use a bush and go back to one and a half then you have your one and a half inch pipe going over one on each side of your fish tank, one on one side pointing one direction, one on the other pointing the other direction, which to help the water swirl in a clockwise. If you don't know which way the water's going to swirl before because of the Coriolis effect or whatever they call it, just flush your toilet and you'll know if it's going to go counterclockwise or clockwise where you live and just turn uh, your elbows on the bottom of those pipes to encourage the water to flow in that direction you'll see I got one on one side and one on the other and I got air bubbling up now I got an aerator over here you can see the water bubbling up on both sides just from the gravity the water dropping and it's going into the fish tank and uh, about time to feed my fish so you just come off, just I did a little bit different, but if you go into a three inch T, it'd be a whole lot easier. Make sure you get it level. And uh, you can just do a, put a level across and draw a line across and get your bulkheads level. So you're gonna get even flow out of each end. And uh, if you wanna drop them down and put in a, be good to measure first, drop them down, put in a an elbow, a two inch elbow, and that'll keep your, uh, 
raft bed from flowing up and blocking off your bulkheads. And then, uh, you just like I said, you just come outside and send uh, two to each tank, one and a half inch pipe, put a T on the top, put a uh, elbow on the bottom, and uh, that should be a lot easier than the way I did it. <laughs> I wish I had had uh, a five feet of drop. I only had four and a half. You can see I had to go into the side of my uh, sump tanks over there. I couldn't go over the top. I measured to make sure I had everything level. I put two two inch bulkheads going into my sump or into my well into my sumps, but also into my bio filter, which I don't have set up yet, and also two going out. And I put in a few fail safes because I was concerned about this one fish tank seemed like it was getting more of the water than the other two and so i've got a few fail, fail safes here and there i've had to put in and uh so that's why i was recommending two inch bulkheads i'm trying to uh learn from my mistakes and make uh, your life a little bit easier should you try uh, choose to build a uh raft i uh, know natural aquaponics stair step waterfall system so I just wanted to give you an update, show the system it is running. I'm still working on it. I'm still putting in my siphons, still putting in my gravel and trying to get my, got a few tomatoes. I got to survive. And uh, my 3,200 gallon power pump is <laughs> really working good. I could have gone a size smaller, but uh, that's why I had to put in a few fail safes. This, I was really impressed with this pump. But I'm getting a lot of, of good circulation, and uh, it's also very pleasant listening to it uh, as I'm working or playing out here. So thanks for listening.